this dude hits me up on Instagram and he's like, oh, have you heard of OnlyFans? And I was like, no, what's that? And he told me like he's a manager. He manages multiple girls and he offered to manage me. That's when we started. Wow. Are you still with the same manager? Hell no. <laughs> I didn't think so. Hell when so. you say started, was he just taking pictures of you or were you doing um, sex he stuff? Actually, ironically, I never met him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he lived in Orlando. Uh, but it was just me, like homemade so, uh, pictures, solos. For the first year, I did completely solos, nothing else, just pick nudes and solos. So how did yeah. you start uh, to expand that. beyond that? It was so it was when I fired him. He ch- deleted all my social medias and he took my OnlyFans. Wow. He had all your logins. Yeah, girl. Because he was also don't like do managing. This. Don't do this. Oh, girl, I didn't. I did not know. Just, no, I'm just saying it for other girls who might be girls. watching. Mm-hmm. If anyone wants to manage you, don't let them take more than thirty percent, and do not give them any access to anything. Facts. I had to. Oh. But after I fired him, he goes and deletes everything within the two days. So I was like, fuck. And um, at the time, I had like 150K on Instagram. And I was already constantly getting deleted. But he would get me back up. But obviously, I just fired him. So I was like, fuck this shit. Fuck Instagram. I'm going to just stay with Snap and Twitter. Um, When I got on Twitter, that's when I was like, oh, shit. People collab. People do collaborations. Mm. So I started doing collabs. And then majority of the people that you do collabs with, obviously, like, will shoot pro porn. And then I was like, hmm. Did a little bit of research on agencies and chose my agency and went wow. with it. but you really did you want to do the agency because you wanted like more collaborative experiences or was um, it just because you wanted to get bigger on social media i just wanted the more like more connections i mm. wanted to be able to connect with more because i knew i already know like the companies don't probably want to deal with the model directly um so i just said agency gave me the connections of course the exposure and the check comes with it but i'd rather the connections over anything else so your parents yeah. your parents were furious about the notion of you even sleeping with a guy how do they are they aware like how have they kind of so taken this they actually recently found out uh-huh. so i was three years for, in like, oh my exact gosh my friend. and the way they even found out it was it's not even like them finding out themselves it was somebody hating on me and they might see this. Fuck you. Uh. Um, they hate on my ass, and they went and they made a Facebook account and they DM my mom and they told her. Right. Is this person like related to you or? I don't know. Uh, I mean, uh... any girl who's gonna choose to do porn, realistically, that should be something you have in your mind. Is that the day that day? This is, is the kind of thing that oh, yeah. will probably happen sooner. Don't get me wrong. Hell yeah. But I honestly expected them to find out themselves because my dad watches porn. And I myself have been on Pornhub plenty of times where I see myself as a top ad or like a suggested video. So I'm like, I already know. I'm just going to wait for it to hit for them to hit me up. What did they think you were but, doing with the three? Until um, they found I told out. them I was working at a dispensary. And then where you them were. A dispensary, yeah. And I told them <laughs> a dispensary in specific because I wanted to make sure it's not a business that they can walk into. The joke mm-hmm. is that like guys would be dispensing cum. <laughs> Um, you know what i mean sorry just technically to spell that out. clarify so w- how did they react once they figured out oh they were, they were but how mad like, like gonna kill you mad like, or just like we don't, don't like disown you, mad? you or like it went from stop it stop doing it to i'm gonna call the police to <laughs> for what bad case all... with the police what, what are you gonna what, tell the cops what will the cops say I, I don't i mean in her mind like she doesn't think that obviously i'm doing this legally i'm paying my taxes on it she just thinks escorting right so, I mean, I don't blame her. She doesn't know, but. That would be pretty funny if we had the audio of her telling the cops, she's not paying her taxes. <laughs> they could be like, ma'am, this is really a matter for the IRS. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so, but at any point, did you just decide, like, fuck it, this is my, my whole life. Like, I love doing this. This is just what I want to do. Like, are, are you yeah. all in on it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And especially knowing that there's little to no Arab creators in the, in the industry. I'm here for a long time. Right. Now I kind of understand why they would be upset about the hair thing because they want to probably cast you as like a Middle yeah, Eastern stereotype, right? Yeah. Yep. And with and the hair. often in videos now, they label me as Latin. I was thinking that. Yeah. Too. I w- we were having this conversation when we, when we were doing Googling. Just because we're, to yeah. them, they can call you whatever the hell they want. Yeah. Right? They, they don't care about categorizing mm-hmm. you properly necessarily. Yep. Right. But if whatever it's ever going like, to get tagged. Exactly. But if it's, I feel like Arab would get more though. There's a lot of Latinas. 
But for them, they want to hit both audiences, right? Probably, I mean, yeah. That's... They just label you as both. Try one upload where yeah. you're labeled one way and one Isn't upload. Isn't porn great? <laughs> just say, <laughs> say whatever. Like in any other world, it would be com- considered completely inappropriate to just yeah, lie about it. Yeah, but not in porn. Porn hasn't caught up yet. Sure. Right. So once you start doing real porn, though, do you just love it? or? My first scene was like shit, but I gave what happened? it another try. Um, My boundaries were tried. Oh, and what was your boundary? Not, I don't eat ass. And he oh. tried me while the camera was rolling. What, did you sh- tell him beforehand? Shoved your button? We talked about it twice. In the beginning of the scene, like when before we started, and in the break that literally happened right before like we went back to sex, we went to BJ, and I was laying down, and he comes up, and he goes a little extra oh, and goes no. down. And at the end, he goes, oh, see, you usually ask. Like, see, it wasn't that bad. I looked at him. I was like, first of all, I was sucking balls. Second of all, you will never see my, my face again. And I've never seen it since. Wow. That's so this interesting. Is a, like, this was a uh, something your agent booked for you, yeah. Oh wow! I but, was when I was looking at you earlier though. I was wondering like, is this girl gonna try to eat my ass? Why did you wonder that? I was just like every time I just kind of wonder, you know. So that's good to know that that's not welcome. Yeah. Why is that just not your thing? Um. So I feel like so eating ass or like peeing. I just I don't I don't understand. Like this is where you dispose the things that your body doesn't want. Want okay. Why is my mouth on there? You know. I bet it, you don't mind a guy eating your ass, right? That's his choice. <laughs> what do you mean? He wants to do that. I ain't asking him for it. No, yeah, for real. But you don't like it? I don't mind it. Have You, you haven't done I, anal yet? No. Really? I'm trying, but fuck. It, you got a tight one? Fun. Really? You never did it in your personal life either? Mm-mm. I've only been able to fit a finger in, and that's because that day earlier, someone ate my ass so good, I could not stop thinking so you love it she doesn't want to do it it's a huge difference (laughs) when i was a kid honestly it wasn't until i was probably in my like mid-20s before i even realized that girls could eat a guy's ass it just wasn't even something i thought of until a bit later in life nowadays they just know so i didn't know until i joined porn right so then after that though you start getting more into it yeah and do you do you consider yourself a natural and you're just like good at this yeah i don't like i don't really know how to fake things as it is so trying it's just it'll just ruin the scene right you orgasm easily yeah on camera yeah oh wow interesting yeah. how was your second scene since you said your first scene oh, turned you scene off was phenomenal it was my bang bus scene the only like bummer about it was just it was hot fuck but as oh. far as crew everything else you were in the van in the fucking van they don't have they, ac going in there, they huh? can't run the ac because of the cameras yeah but i mean we're shooting more than like chilling in the van so the ac is off when we're shooting oh lord that shit wow. is loud in florida in, in florida in the summertime bro but it's, it's so hard to feel sexy when you're sweating <laughs> at a certain oh, point when God. you're filming the bang bus porn scene though like if everybody's drenched in sweat that's bad for the footage right man at all I know is I know I know better next time. How Hair sweaty how sweaty something. could we get on this before somebody would be like, Okay, you're too sweaty. I can't jerk off to this. I don't know if the audience would necessarily think that it's gross. If I'm glistening, dumping sweat from my forehead, I don't know. I mean I wouldn't be surprised if they had an opinion about that, right? Yeah, I don't think we would ever get that sweaty. It's very nice and cool in here. Yeah. Thankfully. Um, okay, so you've been doing this for a few years now. How how like, what do you see yourself doing with all this? Are you more focused on OnlyFans or are you more focused on doing stuff for companies? I like both. But I like OnlyFans a little bit more. I want to, um, maybe in like a year or so, I want to start my own brand and have like shoot everything in film. Maybe probably end up quitting like pro and just doing OnlyFans, just the site, everything film. Mm. Dying for it. Making pretty art. That's dope. Like do you, it. um, when it comes to you being Syrian, how do you approach that? Like, would you, like, Mia Khalifa obviously is like kind of the person that everybody kind of looks at as like a role model for Middle Eastern porn stars. She's gotten mm-hmm. so much hate. Are you kind of nervous about inviting that kind of attention? Or No, because I feel like I'm learning from her mistake. Plus, I wasn't really planning on doing that mistake anyway. Right. I prefer to not blame, like, I don't want to bring no politics and no religion into my porn or my work, period. Right. So I feel like sinner is the most, like, I'll go. Mm. But 
that's it but other people want you to bring them oh yeah i'm literally every single fucking day people are asking my agent a hijab scene a hijab scene that's what i was just thinking I'm fans like, are tagging you have to me, turn like, that down specifically yes bro and sometimes like i literally sit there and argue with people on twitter because you like how in your right mind do you think that's okay like i yeah but- and keep in mind i was i was like one of 20 christians in the in the city that i was in when i was in syria oh so like i was pretty much born and raised around muslims and we have um every year of your school you have to have a religions class and it's muslim because uh islam because the majority of the country is muslim and i would i wouldn't have to do any work my parents would make sure that they tell the teachers like yo she's we're christian she doesn't have to learn this and the teachers would respect it they would give me the uh, the time like for free for that class but i would say and i would just pick up and learn and i respect the religion so i don't feel like i should do no fucking hijab scene right but they would, and they wouldn't do, want any other religion to necessarily do it. They just want to do it because it's like a fetishization type mm-hmm. of like Arab people. Yeah. I mean, listen, if I'm a porn producer and there's a girl who grew up Mormon, I'm probably going to be like, hey, let's have somebody bang you with a crucifix. Just because, like, but I do mean, do they do that? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if they do, but it makes sense to me the same logic by which they do the hijab thing. But the, okay, this is the main thing, too, is it's not somebody like me who's jerking off to the hijab yeah. scene, right? It's going to be dudes who probably are from that religion, right? Type. Who get turned on by it because yep. it's like the ultimate forbidden mm-hmm. fruit. And the Arab fan base for porn is fucking insane. It yeah, is. all of my DMs are in Arabic. Yeah. And, and I feel like I you, don't speak Arabic or read Arabic. You haven't even really like put yourself out there like that. Like you don't really advertise. I don't because I don't want to invite hate. Like I I have emails saved in my email under like a harassment folder of people like borderline threatening to kill me because i'm armenian and i've said that i'm armenian so i just feel like you know if you decided to play on religion and Mm -hmm. porn you would get the it would invite the same kind of hatred Mm -hmm. and you never know how crazy someone's gonna get with that (sighs) 